blinky lights on the, get in the cab um, which was produced by someone we'll probably say in the uh, chat um, and released on exactly the same day and one of the things it said is that all of the equipment that has capacity is um, has an unrealistic setting and a realistic setting so it's not like you've got a spreader with um, a sort of an expanded top it's you have the spreader and you can either use it as designed or will artificially bump it by a few thousand liters same with the Kubota sprayers. The Kubota sprayers I did check are also capable of mounting the um, spot spray uh, weeding or herbicide attachments. So that's good. They're effectively the Cavernland um, in orange. There's a mower set, there's all sorts of stuff. But I guess. We will be leasing at least the the spread the spreader, and I might buy it when we have sufficient money to keep one, or if it comes up for sale. Because having a tractor mounted on the size of fields we have really um, is probably better for us, and uh, the fact that it does lime in addition to the other things uh, fertilizer kind of looking to go with that I will need to fill this up with lime like I said not sure I haven't investigated whether there's a lime station on the uh, map so for now I think we'll just buy the lime and uh, stick it in the tractor but I need I, sh I should get an 1800 weight for this because it's giving me a strong suggestion that I need something in that sort of range so I don't need the 23 Transport box safety weight. See, that's a two ton. Hmm. I could do that one, and it's cheaper than both of those. And one of the reasons for this one is you can nudge the uh, the bales out of the way. It's very bright. Very nice. Uh, how about grey? Uh, or onyx. I think we'll go with that. It's a little more neutral than uh, getting one color coded to the tractor. The problem is obviously we are going to be buying other tractors which may end up making use of that weight. Although current plan is this is going to be our small tractor. Two thousand or two ton weight should be adequate for balancing off a full tank of lime. Uh, what do I need? P. That. Don't know that you can get big. Oh, you can get big bags of lime. I didn't look at what the uh, capacity of that was. We'll buy that. Turn that 
the other way back up and let's get that filled um, and for right now we will assume that the uh, the store has a loader that can lift these bags up and load our equipment if we have to transport the equipment back to the farm we will be able to do that as well <coughs> And good grief. Oh, it's not big enough. It's a hundred litre bag. Anyway, that should be hopefully enough for our field. Uh, change nitrogen reference value. No. Change work with crop sensor on. I think for lime it's just go. Um, there doesn't seem to be an automatic setting for it. We'll wait till we get to the field and we'll make another judgment. So, yes, yeah, so for mowing equipment we've got the John Deere Batwing. I'm not going to mess around with anything else. But we could get orange tedding equipment and um, wind rowing equipment although I'm probably going with the Kuhn Rake for wind rowing it doesn't have much in the way of um, horsepower requirement but it's also fairly cheap and yeah different it's not a windmill okay and there's the sign I did adjust the entrance to our field as well. So that's the store. Up ahead is our house, which now has the fence, so you can see round it. That definitely opens up this part of the, the driveway. And then I did cut the hedge back by one block here so that you can get bigger headers in here when we uh, get bigger harvesting equipment. Okay, let's uh, pull forward and um, going to turn the help back on. There is nothing there that affects you know, change nitrogen reference value. So the nitrogen reference value thing allows us As far as I gather, it lets us set a, um, a reference crop that we haven't planted yet. Because um, normally, if you've got your crop sensors on, you're basically saying, I want um, you know, detect what the crop is in the ground and apply nitrogen for that crop. Great. Well, if I haven't planted yet, I can still fertilize the field, but I need to make sure that I'm telling it what I plan to plant in there so it sets the nitrogen level correctly. So I do want... I'm planning to plant barley in this field. Um, the other thing with the open garden is... Dang, that went quick. Okay. Yeah, this is going to take a couple of trips. I'm guessing I'm going to need six more bags. But also now I've got a better view of the road coming out of there and I'm still going to cut the cars up
Now, one thing I have suggested as less of a cheat is to buy the pallets of small bags. Um, they're a little bit more expensive than the big bags or the um, the other big bags. But you can pick up a you know a hundred liter, not even a hundred, yeah, it's probably more close to a fifty liter bag of seed and load a cedar up um, by hand. So technically, you don't need a forklift to load the seed. You might need a forklift to load the pallet onto a trailer to take it home with you, but that's the thing. Well, I suppose the good thing is we're not going to burn up the rental time on the spreader. Looks like this spreader cannot have adjustable width like the the other one, the red one. Or is it? Yeah, the orange one doesn't have an adjuster. The green one, even. Okay, pull into here. We'll grab the extra hundred. So I'm reckoning. Yes, yeah, so you've got the big bag pallets. These things you need a, a forklift to lift. These things you should use the hook attachment to lift. But the advantage with those is you can buy them in multiples. These, these are small bags which could be lifted by hand. So... You know, buying seeds in this method, they're more expensive than buying seeds in the other forms, but you buy that, you can pick off a, a bag and just load it into the back of your tractor. This doesn't come with... You've got solid fertiliser, you've got liquid fertiliser. That's expensive, but you're diluting that down to make three times that. Anyway, let's... Um, Go back to big bags and we will get, I guess, six bags of lime. Because it's a pricey thing. Um, is that, no, that is loading. So yeah, with other equipment, I guess we could go back to here. And here. So you've got your four tractors, the front loader, the skid steers, and the little off-roaders. Front loader arms. We have a uh, mower. That's interesting. Oh, it's one of those trail things. So that's kind of like the Cavernland one, I think. Um, there's a front mower, a butterfly mower. Butterfly mower does have the um, the ability to add the the wind rower bits on it. Uh, there is a tedder, a bigger tedder, a wind rower, and the fast bail. Uh, spreader. Uh, this thing comes with the uh, weed spot and spray. Costs 39,000. That seems to be a common thing. And then capacity standard is 1800 or you can get 7,500 unrealistic. Finally we have a cultivator. Um, sorry, go back. Um, a different cultivator. A plow. A cedar for uh, corn, sunflowers, and soybeans, sugar beets, and corn, uh, cotton, and then a uh, cedar which recommends a weight or wheel weights. 
and plants the the normal crops this one three meters this one four and a half meters so if we go back here and look at the sprayers effectively the orange sprayers pretty much match this set um, probably the same model so same features 18 to 40 18 to 40 uh, what's missing there oh you can do 46,000 or unrealistic 15 uh, with the mowers again plows. where's the mowers I'm going crazy right there um, so it's that that cavernland trailed thing um, pretty much what that is and then you've got those which match uh, I'm not sure if it matches these two similar price I would say these are the Vicon Cavernland um, stuff as well so for the most part we're looking at um, equivalent of a Cavernland right so same parent company, same equipment, different paint scheme. So I did load the uh, the Cavernland pack. Well, not that it was a pack; it was a, an after afterthought mod set of mods produced by Giants from the old Cavernland Vicon pack. So uh, I decided, for the most part, when Giants releases a mod, it's a mod of something we had in Farm Sim 19. And I'm probably going to download it without thinking about it. But for everything else, I tend to look at who's the modder, have I used them before, um, do, I, do I want that piece of equipment? So things like the Agco 1000, which we had painted up as a challenger in our last series on Oakfield Farm, is available in Farm Sim 22 by the same guy. Yes, I liked that mod. So it's a happening thing. Um, there's also a um, Class 800 produced by Smetty. I've used his class equipment before so again um, just something I'm naturally going to add to the list of mods that I pull down Ooh, busy morning busy afternoon um, Smetty has not done the class Axion 900 yet um, he did do the 3000, the Zerian 3000, which is a small Zerian, very small, older Zerian. And he hasn't done the Fent Favorit 800, which I was kind of thinking about and thinking that's, it's, it's a nice starting tractor. It's got a good amount of horsepower. Um, it's a very heavy frame and you can mount a front loader to it. So, um, it's actually quite a nice tractor to have around early in your play and we did use it on Oakfield Farm early on although as things got uh, older yeah or as, as the farm got more mature we found less need for it and it was a front you know I did use it as a front loader tractor um, mostly for, um, oh, what is it? Um, logging, because it's, it's a big unit. And so being able to pick up trees with it, very, very handy. And it didn't overbalance. I think I bought too many bags now. But anyway, it, you know, it, 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 it put wheel weights on the back. 
it was a big heavy long frame tractor um, that could mount a front loader it wasn't particularly high horsepower but you know it it was good for what i had it for later on uh, we got the telehandler and that really became that's what we're going to use to um, move stuff around because it's shorter it's more um, maneuverable seriously more maneuverable than the uh, Fent 800 Favorite uh, but uh, yeah and with this with the size of the yard on Oak Fields it, it really didn't lend itself well and as a lower horsepower older tractor we just outgrew it um, I, you know, I needed when I had a big tractor I needed a big tractor with getting on for 400 horsepower and it just wasn't going to cut that um, but as a starting tractor that was cheap a reasonably you know probably better horsepower than this tractor has but cheaper and a big frame heavy frame lots of tire options a front loader option it, yeah, it, it was a great front loader tractor to start but as I said not currently available for farm sim 22 and we'll probably have grown out for grown out of it by the time it happens I think okay Keep hitting the wall. And I've wedged myself against it now. So the thing with this is the only collisions are on walls. I can drive through lampposts. And I can drive through hedges. Even the sticks that you chop down to make the hedge go away. And street signs you can drive through, but but walls are solid, so I need to be careful driving past walls. And obviously, I set the fen the the wall on my uh, uh, house back away from the road, so it wasn't going to interfere as a uh, something I could crash into when driving past it. Tractors. Mm. Used about a third of a tank of gas or diesel so far, so uh, although it's October, so actually not doing too badly there. Okay, get this filled up. I think I've just pulled out from a new bag. Oh. Okay, full again. And we do have the sunflowers to sell, but they're currently sitting in our uh, silos. So, gonna try and wait for a good price on those. Even then, the price is somewhere between eight and nine hundred best price per thousand liters so it's it's not gonna give me a lot of uh, ah and hello Cavalier Roy enjoying this map thank you for producing it you can always place your own walls back yes yeah you'll actually see I'm using the farm along the west edge which has the big cow and pig barns in it already done a little bit of editing there um, but the house that comes with that yard I've taken out the hedge and uh, um, replaced it with a wall so I can actually see what's coming because it's kind of a nightmare to pull out of that um, but you'll see that in a minute um, yes um, 
I haven't seen you around here, so a little bit of an explanation. I general I, I used to play stream weekdays, but life changed. So Saturday morning is my streaming time. And I will tend to pick a map and feature it until Farm Sim Next Edition comes out. So this map will be a solid Saturday morning feature for the next year and a half, two years. And we are on episode 5, I believe, so this is the fifth, fifth week. I, I forgot about Memorial Day weekend, otherwise I'd have streamed then. So yeah, you'll see the house here. I've pulled up the hedge and replaced it with one of the in-game walls. Now one thing I want, was mentioning earlier is your... You haven't included the textures for the um, the gravel that you've used in the farmyards, which... Oh, you're bringing that an, an update out. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. I can always run through the feds. I do use the easy development tools, so uh, sometimes I can, yeah, you know, I can just do a a not quite a restart, but I will. Um, and that's empty. I'll do a. A sort of a partial restart if you like where I'll, I'll completely reload the map but then just um, repatch everything to where it was so things like here um, I knocked down the two sheds there and there was there's not the gravel texture that matches this so I used the in-game texture and same over here I took down the shed here and just did what I did um, and I know that's something Oxygen Davis did on his um, on Calmston was he'd forgotten to include the textures for gravel and uh, he added those on one of his updates which that sort of thing is much appreciated because obviously OCD farmers like to have everything looking the same Although the argument is, well, the gravel I had in there was quite old, and unfortunately, I don't have. Um, yeah, I'm having to replace it with new stuff.